Hi guys, happy new year. Today is a new year, like we are the 8th. So you will see the video on the 9th. So the, we are the 8th of January. We are in 2019. I want, oh, you don't know, you don't know. I was waiting from 2018 to finish. Like madness like oh we were on the 28th of december of 2018 i was like when is the 31st is going to come i can't i cannot wait to finish this year i couldn't breathe but now i don't know if it's spiritual i don't know if it's, if it's psychology psychological yeah 2018 is finished so now we put 2018 we put 2018 in a bag we tidied it up we throw it into to the window so it breaks and then we take the bag again and we bury it in the in the, and then we bury this in the crown and then everything is finished everything is buried in jesus mighty name amen i don't know what to tell i don't know what to tell oh my god i don't know what 2019 is going to be but i know it's going to be blessing year a blessing year because devil is not really happy and i don't care when when he's not happy means that something is coming or some things are coming i'm so happy to enter into this year because last year was a really tough year and this year will be a really tough but in a right in a positive way like a working year like improving myself here in a recovery year in a growth year so basically my three main words for 2019 is recovery improvement and growth mentally physically professionally and spiritually um mentally i don't know if i said it already um and even my relationship with my relationship with people my professional relationship everything i need to get back in the game i can't wait 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 to get back in the game but i want to uh encourage you to do a vision board a vision board is like a mood board but you don't do it digitally but you do it in a physical way so you have a big sheet of paper or small i don't know it depends on how you want your vision board to be but my vision board needs to be at least like that like that like the side of the screen um to put everything that i want to achieve in 2019 everything that inspires me everything that i want to do you can use um uh you can use you have to use magazines uh cutting letters images celebrities uh codes um i don't know anything anything even like if it's a flower or if it's a leaf or if it's a, the i don't know anything um fabrics whatever just something that inspires you something that looks like you something that will inspire you to remember who you are and remember what you want to achieve this year and what you want what you want to achieve in the future uh, i'm in the process of buying the big sheets because uh, i have plenty of magazines like madness i have so much magazines and newspaper in my room that i don't even know where to put them but it's good because i didn't know why i was gathering them like that but now i understand because i needed to do a vision board so um i will definitely do a video on my vision board trying to explain uh, how my vision board what my vision board is and whatever if you're someone that is really visual it will really helps you to achieve if it's not everything it will help you to achieve things and this is what we want to do achieve things this year maybe you will achieve things that are were not your goals which is fine because it means that you achieve something yeah this year i have five general goals which are walking by faith 2019 is not about me it's not about what i want it's not about me um stressing it's me walking by faith jesus will be my guide for the whole year and forever and forever 
platform. Second goal for me is take it easy. I need to take everything easy, no stress, no depression, no anxiety. I refuse and I rebuke them in Jesus' mighty name. I don't need that in my life. Like, I don't need it. I do not need it. Third, the third goal is to uh, put my 100% on what I believe. So if I do believe in Jesus and I do believe in the Bible, I put my 100% in it. So meaning that I have to serve the Lord. Every time that he asks me to do it, every time that he asks me to talk about him, every time that he wants me to pray for someone, I have to do it. No 25, no 5, no 50, no 75, no 95, 100%, 200, nah. 150, 105, 100. 100% 100 is totally fine. The fourth is I read more. I need to read. I love to read. I forgot my 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 love my my, my love and my passion for reading books. And reading newspaper like that's why I have so many newspaper I read newspaper all the time I might be doing some videos about reading as well like when I finish a book or something you can do like a small review on the book that I was reading and the last one my least is launching my creative agency which is something that I started working on in 2014 I think and it changed so many times just let other people opinion to interfere with my goals with my vision and it just like changed my whole vision and so it delayed my creative identity to be so i want to encourage you i know that this video is a little bit long and my tone of voice is not that happy happy but because it's a serious video so let's be serious um so this year i really want you to stop stressing i really want you to stop being anxious i really want to stop you being stressed i really want you to focus on your mental health please just do uh do what makes you happy delete all toxic people of your life if you have friends that are toxic girl just put them like away you have to let them go because you will never move forward their will you are the one that is good giving advice to toxic people and then when you're looking for having the same advice that you give these toxic people they can't give you any advice they just want to discourage you because if you are moving forward how can you suck can they suck your energy to move forward so basically girl you have to pray about it and then if god remove people from your life just let them go they don't pay your bills they don't pay your food they don't work for you they don't they don't take care of you they don't care okay friends for 10 friends for 20 friends for 30 years you just have to let them go people are here to help you to and people are here as well to lift you up you know that sometimes you're the mentee but sometimes you're the mentor so when you have your mentor room, when you are in the mentor room just do it and then go and be the mentee but if you don't have a mentor please 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 look for a mentor it's so important because this person when you find this person you can talk with this person for like you can talk with this person about anything anything and basically this person becomes family it's no more a friend it's no more like a, a professional um professional contact but it becomes family because when you want to do a project example when you are in a, in a project in, in a project and then you have a mental breakdown at some point your mental becomes your family like your uncle or your or your auntie or whatever but it becomes your family 2019 let's take risks uh, because if we don't take risks we will never see anything being safe is good because basically you're in a safe place you're in comfort you're comfortable you feel happy you're just like here but you have regrets and these risks can be um calculated i'm saying that because this is what i'm planning to do this year taking risks because i never take risks at all um but taking risks in everything taking risks in everything but don't forget to pray as well uh, because for us humans you feel like a risk but when it's written by God 
we will take this risk and we will take this risk we will do this thing because we call a risk but god planned it already so it's not really a risk so you know i think that's it i wish you i wish you to be successful in any area of your life any area of your life to be stronger and stronger to beat the devil with mighty fire in jesus mighty name and uh, to slap him in the face because he come and slap us we will slap him twice in jesus name we don't have time for him if we don't belong to him so we have you have to let us go in jesus name uh, i wish you to 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 be a testimony for other people i wish you to take risks and may this risk be successful in jesus name i wish you to be a mentor to find a mentor i um, wish you to have good health because without like my dad says um, like my dad says if you don't have uh, if we uh, don't have a good health we can't do anything we can't work we can't go we can't do anything so i wish you to have a good health i wish you to meet constructive people protective people people that will lift you up people that will bring positivity into your life may all the toxic people in your life be gone i don't know if i speak english right now but they have to go <laughs> they have to go in jesus name um and also uh, if you're a christian may the lord allow you to serve him in any area that you would like you to serve him and to bring the word of god everywhere that you can and to not be ashamed of him because it said somewhere that i will find about it luke 9 26 for whoever is ashamed of me and my words of him the son of man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in his father's and of the holy angels basically if you're ashamed of the lord if you're ashamed of jesus if you're ashamed to believe in him he will be ashamed of you before the father is it what you want no i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next video i might film a hair tutorial i just have to know how to film up like i just have to know how to film proper hair tutorial because i filmed so many and i couldn't just i couldn't post them because it was not nice anyway i see you in my next video bye